I have access to some pretty insane technology, Midjourney, which allows you to type some text and it pops out an image. I already got it to generate some interesting things. But can it make something that looks interesting as a decoration that can be 3D printed? Well, I'm going to try and see what images I can get. But after I find my favorite image that looks like something I can make, I'm going to try and make it in Blender and 3D print it in real life. Let's see how well this works. 45 minutes later, here's some of my favorite results. Of these images, I think the one I like the idea of creating is this one. With that decided, let's get into Blender. I started trying to create the base and immediately realized that this was going to be a little more interesting than I had thought, due to the weird indents and the fact that, thinking about it, I don't usually create something based on a single reference image. Especially one like this, with the weird angle. After struggling with the base for a little bit, I finally got it looking better and moved on to the main structure, which I got fairly quickly and then spent a lot more time trying to fine tune the result. One thing for sure though is thank you to Loop Tools for that add-on. That flatten option was a lifesaver. Once I finally got a satisfactory model, I decided to do a quick render because there really isn't any reason not to. Well, technically two renders. Well, now that we actually have the model, let's 3D print it. Haha, <laughs> I now have a physical model from an AI-generated image. And honestly, I kinda like it with the low-poly, more primitive style look to it. Definitely an interesting experiment that I may come back to and try with some future AI generated images. Though I may try using a boolean cutout technique instead of this method I used to create this model. Since I think it actually might be faster for a model specifically like this. Though maybe I'm wrong on that. Anyways, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, and bye!